Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and today I'll be trying out TDCS for the first time with Halo Sport. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar, TDCS stands for Transcranial Direct Current Stimulation. And what this particular gadget is supposed to do is stimulate your motor cortex. That's the part of your brain that controls muscle movement. And it does this in a specific way that's supposed to make certain types of athletic training, workouts, and physical practice more effective. Now it's designed for athletes in mind because of this, but they've also found use cases for musicians because these can help with fine motor control of the fingers, which is really helpful if you do stuff with your hands, say, play the piano. Now I'm going to cover all of this in a full review soon, but I wanted to capture my first impressions with the Halo Sport and share it with you because this is really exciting. I'm sort of nervous. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. Okay, so this is it. It looks like a normal pair of headphones right now, but it also comes with these feeler pads, which I'm going to wet with some water and install onto the underside of the headband. So I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Now I'm just supposed to wear these like regular headphones and I have to wiggle them a bit to get the nibs to make contact with my skin not my hair, and now the app says it's ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and push start, and it says that it is ramping up. So I'm going to increase the intensity a little bit. Oh, ah, that feels weird. It's like a tingling, zapping, prickly feel, like little tiny needles or bug bites. I mean, it's not like the pins and needles numb feeling that some people have said that it would be. I definitely feel it, so it's not numb, but it doesn't hurt exactly either. I mean, it pinches a bit and it makes my skin crawl a little, but that's not too bad. All right, so let's go a little higher. Ah, oh, now I could see how that could be unpleasant for some folks. Ow, um, I'm gonna dial it back a little bit. Just for reference, I had it up to 7 out of 10, and I would say to not start out at 10. Just a word of caution. So I'm fairly comfortable with it at around 4, and at 1 I didn't really feel anything, but supposedly it's still working even at that level. So these sessions are supposed to last for about 20 minutes, and you can do some warm-up activities during this time, like stretching or light exercise, and then for the one hour period afterward, you can go heavy into your training and the neural priming effects will last about 60 minutes. With neural priming, it's supposed to make your brain more flexible to learn the skill that you're practicing. That's the science behind it anyway. But I think that's all I'm going to say about the Halo Sport for now. I'm planning on doing a few trials with it, like trying to improve my typing speed. That's for fine motor control. And I'll be using it before my workouts to see if I get any significant gains in strength, power, and flexibility. I'll let you know after I've had a few weeks to use this on a regular basis whether or not it's helped me any. But for now, I've got about 17 minutes of this session left. And I'd like to mention that after a few minutes, if you're not paying attention to it, the prickly sensation isn't as bothersome as I thought it would be. It's just like a little tingle with an occasional odd pinch here or there. So stay tuned and join me next time.